Udah meles mah Shay Mariah, tell us about the art of letting go. Letting go. Like she be so killing it. I knew they were singers, and that's why we know we're not going to sing this song. I don't think we're going to sing this song, but somehow I know that. Jimmy Fallon, Mary. he had a concert, <laughs> and he, 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 oh, Jimmy said, what do you say? I like Trey, I like Tigger, and I like Tippa Teetot to sing it all up for me. Won't you just give them a little bit of some kind of emotion on your face like, oh, I'm feeling something, even though we're not quite sure what Mariah's doing right now. <laughs> we don't know. I see your black, I see your iPhone. Please turn it down. And that was my bad side as well. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, why? Oh, somebody tell me why. <laughs> the melisma. <laughs> All I know is this part. <laughs> but I do recall that I thought we said we'd get the audiences busy. Wait, 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 wait. I love that. I love that. I want to pause that. <laughs> Can we talk about how much fun she's having ad living and narrating and she's trying to avoid singing it? And mind you, she's not even doing like belts here. She's just doing, just going up and down, having fun. Oh, I know this is fine. But I love the transition there. But I do have a call. That I thought we said we'd get the audiences busy. <laughs> like I love that transition, <laughs> and I know you see me filming me with the is that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the agility, the runs right here. And he, <laughs> he, he, <laughs> like this is perfect. She hasn't like belted nothing. She ain't done no hard singing. She's just chilling in her bag and she's killing it. Like the melisma, the musicality, just the song. And she's just playing around with the melody and narrating. You know, like Jimmy fell in. <laughs> and like, I love it so much. Like you can say what you want about Mariah Carey, but you cannot deny her musicality, her gifting, her tone. She really knows how to use her instrument and she really understands music well enough that she will make that thing something phenomenal. Something phenomenal, it's crazy. Such a gift, such a talent, such a legend. We don't understand this part at all. Let's skip to another one of the songs of the repertoire. <laughs> the repertoire. Just give them some of you, please. Give them some of you. Please sing with me. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think we're supposed to be angry when I'm singing this song, The Art of Letting Go. Cause that song, we didn't write it together, but I think we should try to switch to it. I know we can go. Ah, we don't care. Just play it in the same damn key. I don't care. Ah, hold on. I'm making a statement. I just. Raising so much <laughs> of my own opinion. <laughs> Just a brief little reminder to help myself remember. It doesn't matter what you do because I no longer live in that dominion that I once lived in. Where there was people that I didn't like and they were there every day. And it was oh so difficult to be there, but I stayed and I stayed.
Come on, Mimi. Me, me. <laughs> That's the fact. killed that bro <laughs> like how do you sing your song sing around your song ad lib but like the storytelling of just her having fun just chill singing and like singing a little bit of fly like a bird and then going into the yard letting go and just testifying you know like she's just on her own and she's like, <laughs> to be continued okay i'm exhausted it's like yeah after you did all that that you just did like you would just kill you just kill like and just the range that she used, you know, she gave us a whistle tone there. She gave us more of the belt towards the end, but it was really, really good. And she was just really chill. And even like the singers and just her having like a um, a jazz, a jazz full ensemble and conversation with the band and like the singers are supporting her. But I do recall that we said we get the audience's faces. Yay. Get the number on a repertoire, you know, repertoire, like, like Mariah, just give him some of you, give him some of you, like, what in the world, <laughs> like, she's just thinking and thinking and playing and having fun, because, yeah, your regular person can't do that, but she's just doing it seamlessly, please, I know there were singers, please, you know, it's like, Mimi, you are ridiculous, but I love it. Like, I wish we could get more performances like that where she just like vibing and just playing around. Like, you could like see, like just do this performance alone, like how, how vibrant her studio sessions probably are. Like with her writing, her playing around with like different harmonies, parts, dynamics and everything. And like, she's always just on this right key. Like, it's just sing sing unless her voice isn't cooperating with her but like that work there was just a master class all by itself sing be me like i love that so much fun so much energy and she's just chill and just like the range that what she's saying like her tessitura right here was perfect like she didn't try to hit like the high notes and freaking belt all the time which i know sometimes she doesn't really care for but she was just in her bag and in her lane and she was just chilling but she gave us so much because the agility lightning speed that ooh thing. That <laughs> like Mariah is crazy, bro. <laughs> crazy killing it. Like it's just you have to give her props. You got to give her credit because she is singing ridiculously. It is a miracle. Craziness. So good to me. But if you have another video you need to react to, come below. Get to it as soon as I can. It could be an MC video, Mariah Carey. It could be a Mimi video. It could be something all together. Come below. Get to it as soon as I can. And as I always say, don't get bitter because life does get better. The art of letting go. You got to let go. <laughs> And let God give you something better. Make that exchange, make that trade. And even like, I love that Mariah was testifying at the end, just reminiscing about that environment, that domain which she used to reside in, that she didn't like, that she would just had to put up with for different reasons, which sounded like it was a shot at Tommy or whatever. And even just certain parts of her lifestyle and her career journey and everything else in between. Because I no longer live in that dominion that I once lived in where there was people that I didn't like and they were there every day and it was oh so difficult to be there but I stayed and I stayed and I stayed and I wore them dresses and I did that shit that I hated and hated but it's just like I love that you know like in the space that she is now with the freedom and even when we think about like the emancipation of Mimi like the freedom from that era or that you know yeah, just that era of life for her and just like blossoming and stretching out her wings and flying and soaring and freedom. It's just a beautiful thing to see. But I'm going to get out of here, y'all. Talk to y'all soon.